A steam condenser receives 10 kilograms per second of steam with an enthalpy of 2770 kilojoules per kilogram. Well, let's call that our MS. 10 kilograms per second. Enters with an enthalpy called H1, 2770 kilogram, uh, kilojoules per kilogram. Steam condenses and leaves with an enthalpy of 160 kilojoules per kilogram. Let's say that is H2 kilojoules per kilogram. Cooling water passes through the condenser with temperature increase from 13C to 24C. So let's call that delta T which is simply 24 minus 13 and that is equal to 11 degrees C or 11 Kelvin. Calculate the water flow rate in kilograms per second. Okay, so we are trying to find the water flow rate in kilograms per second. So let's draw this problem so you can understand it better. We have the steam coming in from here. This is where H1 is. And we also have the cooling water coming inside. Where This is where T1 would be. And exiting, of course, uh, T2 for the water. And... We also have steam that leaves the condenser with an enthalpy of H2. So let's write down the values here so that we don't get confused. Okay, so you probably know where we are going. So this is a Law of conservation, conservation of energy. So if we write this out, we have steam coming in. So that is MS multiplied by enthalpy H1. And we also have water coming in. The only thing different, of course, is we need to include the specific heat of our water at constant pressure. This is multiplied by T1. And then, of course, on the other side, leaving the condenser, we do have our steam also multiplied by the respective enth uh, enthalpy. And we also have water leaving the condenser. Don't forget to multiply our specific heat. Now, there's a better way of writing this, so... This one becomes just ms multiplied by the difference in enthalpies. And on the other side, we simply multiply the mass flow rate of our water by the specific heat and by the difference in temperature. Now we do have this. We have the enthalpy of the steam. We are trying to look for this. We know the specific heat of water, and we know the temperature difference over here. So now this becomes a simple case of direct substitution. Okay, so we put this in our calculator. And there we have it. The mass water flow rate in kilograms per second. And that is our final answer. I hope this helped. Consider liking, subscribing and supporting me on Patreon. Thanks and good luck.